Welcome to Unboxing Alice, the YouTube channel with our Purple Fox that unboxes things. I'm, of course, Alice the Frost, and today, as I said in the last video, we're going to start a month of Eda bags. So, basically, I'm going to be unboxing a small Eda bag and a large Eda bag. And, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, we're going to start with a smaller one. I wasn't really sure how easy or difficult, probably difficult, this is going to be with paws. I might have to lose my paws because I will be stuffing things in the bag, just so you know. But we're going to start with Melanin Eclectic by Brittany Thompson. This, I believe, was her second Kickstarter, and it's just her an everyday Eda bag. It's a bit different for me because this is a very small bag. <laughs> you guys have seen the multi fandom bag. If you didn't see that video, I'll probably try and link it somewhere. But that is a big honking bag. It held all of my stuff, you know, all, all of the stuff, <laughs> including my Steam Deck, which I don't carry around with me every day. This is not that. <laughs> this is a much smaller bag. And it's not something I'm really used to, but it is a bag I could use when I'm like at craft fairs or something, or if I'm walking around somewhere a lot. Because as much as I love that multi fandom bag, I'm not kidding, that is my everyday bag. It's heavy. It can get really heavy. The more stuff you put in it, obviously, is going to make it heavier. Steam Deck misses, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to using this bag for like smaller excursions to, again, like craft fairs or walking around maybe the mall or something. I could have used it last week when I was looking for pants for a wedding. <laughs> but that's okay. The I love this because, again, this is going to be a very minimalist, minimalist bag, like the multi-fandom bag, and the other bag that I show you at the end of the month is going to be similar. It's just black. It's just black, which means you can use whatever pins you want, and I absolutely love that because I've got some My Little Pony-themed pins that I will be trying to unbox probably in October. Cannot wait to use those for Cider Fest. And these bags are perfect because I have yet to find a My Little Pony themed Eda bag. <laughs> so it, this is the next best thing, something that is very nondescript and I can use it for anything. So let's, we're gonna go ahead and move Alice out of the way because I'm gonna knock the crap out of her. Okay, or I guess knock the crap out of me. <laughs> open a bag, open the box, maybe. Okay, got a few other things in here. I'm gonna start putting things down. That's a card. Okay. Go ahead and grab the bag itself. Oh, I can do that with Paul. I'm very proud of me right now. And I think that's it. Yeah, chop. Okay. So the bag is already starting to unbox itself. Before we get to the actual bag, we do have a couple other things. So we do have a card. Again, this is by Mel Melanin Eclectic. She does a lot of art with black, uh, uh, what do you call it? Black cre or characters. And she has really pretty art. Please go check her out. She does have a website with a lot of you know, stationery and things like that. So it's not just the bag that she sells. But she does have some enamel pins. I will show you a couple of enamel pins with this Kickstarter. And I one I absolutely love. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't match any of my other pins. But I absolutely love it. So, but we have a nice card. And this is actually one of the pins I'm going to show you. So preview, I guess. And on the back, it says, thank you so much for supporting my Kickstarter. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for your patience. Enjoy your goodies. And it says, don't forget to tag us if you post pictures, which I will be doing after I you know, make the video and everything. I've gotten in the habit whenever I have an unboxing, unboxing of a physical item, not an hour's play, I always take pictures, and I put the pictures of the item on Instagram now. So now I actually have a use for Instagram. So I'll show you the back of that. Very, very pretty. And I, again, I absolutely love this image. I love this character. I cannot wish it, wait to show you the pin. I actually might do that first because I can do pins with paws. Oh, I'm sorry. I have another card. Another card. This is yet another art piece that she has made. Again, really pretty and featuring black characters, which you do not find very often. And on the back, it just has her soul. It says Brittany Thompson uh that's about all i can read unfortunately everything else is too small but she does have a twitter i recognize that symbol i think that's tiktok i am not on the tiktok yes i said the tiktok because i'm old i don't need to know anything about tiktok but i'm pretty sure it's the, the tiktok symbol 
and YouTube. I know she does have a YouTube channel, which can you know, she covers a wide variety of topics. So I'll go ahead and show you the back of that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's see if I can. Yeah, grab that corner and show you the back of that card. And so look at the other card. Okay, so it starts over there. We'll go ahead and get into the enamel pin first. And they're just in this really nice sort of purple, like satinish bag. Very cute. I like that. I know that she put like thank you for your patience on there. I don't think this Kickstarter like took an insane amount of time, honestly. It might have been like delayed a bit, but that's Kickstarter. That's just how you know production works with supply chains and things like that. So I don't remember having any issues with this creator to be perfectly honest. Oh, oh, okay. They're not thankfully stuck together, so I can do one at a time. So here we go. As I showed you before, this is the enamel pin of the Cyber Girl. And I really, really love this pin. I wish I had more like it. So I could like have a you know themed Cyber Girl type of thing. I don't, but I absolutely love this pin. I will find somewhere to stick it. It may not be in an Eda bag since they it there's nothing else like it, but I will probably get some of the permanent like enamel pin backs and stick it to like a scrap or something. Go ahead and put that over here. I think I, I think I held that up. I don't remember what I did. I just got out of the gym and white weight watchers, so my brain's kind of fried and I have not eaten yet. But I want to go ahead and shoot this video while I'm still sweaty so I don't you know shower and then get in this get up and, and sweat to death. Because then what was the point of the shower? Okay, let's show you the other one. I think this is a freebie too. I didn't buy this one. So it's just like a butter, it's called Butterfly Fro, and it just has a character with a butterfly in place of their face and just an afro which i did not have an afro for very long because i can't make them like look nice <laughs> i see so many afros that do look nice just not when i do <laughs> because i'm lazy and i couldn't pick it out so it like matched all the way around that's why i got locks so all right now we're going to go ahead and dive into the bag oh god please be easy Please be easy to open. Oh, thank God. <gasps> I did it. Yeah, I did it. Okay. A little too excited. Right, um, duck. We've got yet another bag. <laughs> I think this one just slides off. Does it? How do you, how do I open this? Yes? No? Okay. Yeah, okay. So it slides off. Cool. I have no idea where those went. I can't see. So this is the bag. And again, it is a small bag. <laughs> But it's very pretty. I really love the, I think her name is Simone. That's the name of the character. But I love the fact that that is your little zipper pull. It is really cute and I love it. <laughs> Let's see. The front is our Eda bag window. So not going to fit a ton of pins in here. But on the picture on the uh, on her website, there was like maybe eight pins in here. I don't know how big the pins are. Probably close to... Cyber Girl, and actually Cyber Girl's pretty decently sized. So I'd be able to fit maybe six to eight pens. So this is the front and you open it up and uh, what's her name? Uh, Simone is on both the Eda pocket, like the Eda pocket zipper and like the regular compartment. Actually the regular part has two, two Simones on there, which is really pretty. Let's go ahead and see if I can open up Simone. Ah, doing really good with Paul so far. <laughs> I'm impressed with me. Let's see, we've got our strap. I'm pretty sure y'all know what a strap is. Strap for the bag. And a buttload of paper. Let's see if we can get this paper out of here. Oh, this is gonna be smart. Mm. Come on, you can do it. All right, yeah, there's just, you know, paper to stop it and help it keep it safe. So, so inside, I'll try and take some pictures because it's gonna be hard to show you, but it's just a basic compartment. It does have one zippered, like compartment up against, I think the back side. I can't really feel it because of my box, but it's just one compartment. So this is about eight inches long. I think about three inches wide, maybe four-ish inches tall. So what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm gonna try to stuff things in here. That's like I've done with a few other bags, including the multi-fandom. So one thing I'm definitely gonna need is my wallet. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Does wallet fit? Wallet fits, yes, wallet fits. Right there, well, right there. Next, uh, obviously, my phone is being used to record this video, but I do have my battery case 
which is going to act as my phone right now. So can I set my phone in here? Not with my finger in the way. Okay, there we go. So now I've got my phone. Yeah, so phone, phone and wallet. Next, we're going to have my keys. And keys shouldn't be huge, but because I'm me, <laughs> the keys are huge. I've got my house key. Oops. House key with Lona. Shove that in there. Okay, that fits on top. My car key is huge <laughs> because of the Nope keychain I showed you guys. I think I bought that at Gateway Fermi. But here is my, my car keys and the lovely Nope keychain I showed you guys in that video. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put that in there because I definitely need my car keys or I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so let's see if that fits. The biggest part, the biggest issue is the, the darn Nope keychain. I love that keychain so much. I'm so happy I bought it. It's so freaking huge. <laughs> it's really hard to fit in the thing. So we've got all of that in there. I have no idea what this looks like. I can't see. But hopefully you guys can see that. And finally, I usually carry at least two pairs of earbuds. These are both Raycon. I, you know, Raycon's kind of my brand. And no, I'm not one of the YouTubers that's going to be advertising for Raycon. Like, officially, I, I do actually like their stuff. So I do have three sets of their uh, earbuds. Two of these are fairly, actually fairly new. But I'm good. I brought them out here just to see if they fit. Here we go. It's getting tight. It's getting tight in there. Can I close this? No. No, I can't. Oh, no. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to take out my paws, and we are going to play Tetris. Let's first figure out where I put everything. So, and just as a reminder, I believe you could probably put something in this front window where you would put the pins. There are, I believe, where are they? One. Two. Okay, there, there. there are two inserts. It came with one. I go ahead. I always get a second insert. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of them out because one will be in here with the pins. Can I put my? Okay, I can put my keys behind the window. Let's see if I can go ahead and throw my house keys because they are significantly smaller than my darn <laughs> car keys. So yeah, that closes. That closes very well. Let's go ahead and go into the back. I still have my phone and my wallet in there, and ooh, it's getting tight. So let's see if I can grab one of, yeah, I can fit that. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, I just put in one of my Raycons. They all got little pony keychains on them. These are keychains that broke, like the this part of it didn't broke, but like the keychain itself actually broke. So I just went ahead and repurposed it and attached it to my Raycon. Go ahead and put this on the side if we can. There we go. And that closes. Okay. So now we've essentially got a full bag. Let's go ahead and open that out. I hit myself with a note. Let's open it back up so you can see what I did. I am not sure what else I could fit in here. I think I also had, yeah, I had a hair thing. I usually carry this with me just in case, especially when I go to the gym. I've learned the hard way I need to tie my hair up. For multiple reasons, just gets in my face, it keeps me cooler. Also, since I have baby locks and they haven't fully locked yet, they can unlock. So keeping my hair up helps them not unravel. So I always have some kind of hair thingy with me. And that's pretty, it, you know, that this is like satin, so it you know protects my hair type. But it's really, you know, stretchy and squishy and it should fit in there. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's in there. So we have a wallet, we have my phone, or well, the phone case, but you know what I mean. It, the case fits, so the phone obviously will because the phone fits in the case. And then we've got one set of Raycons over here. I actually have my impact. Let's see if the impact will fit. It might be too much. Uh, come on. Yeah, I can lay hitch flat <laughs> on top and close it. Okay, this did close. So this is it. This is what you're going to store in here. I have a standard wallet. Well, it's pretty fat. It's got a lot of crap in it. But I do have a standard wallet in there. I have. You can fit a phone and a thick case, like a battery case in there. And I have you know, a hair thingy. So something really thin or like a piece of paper will fit in that zipper pocket inside. And 
I fit two earbud cases that are about, you know, this big, not this isn't the, the shape, but close enough. And then in the front, I have my keys. So this section, let's see, there you can see it has both my keys and it still has the zipper pocket for the actual pin. And when I put pins in like the Eda bag windows, I tend to not use the backs. I honestly just do that because they fall off anyway. I've yet to me, as much as I love a lot of my Eda bags I've shown you guys, the backs never stay, like ever. <laughs> they always fall off. It sucks. It's usually not too big of a deal, unfortunately, because I shove things behind that window. Every time I stick my hand in there, I get poked and it really sucks. But that's pretty much it for this bag. That's what fits. Again, not a humongous bag, but this will be a nice bag to carry around with me while I'm going on like short errands and things like that. And I also love the fact that it's just black and doesn't have any other decor on it. So I can customize it and theme it however I want. And that's definitely going to be my little pony coming up soon. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, this is just a strap. You guys know what a strap is. This can also function as a pencil case, as she said in the description. Obviously, just don't use a strap and you've got a pencil case, but I don't really use those. So I'm just going to stick to the actual bag concept. And that is pretty much it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this bag. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you got one. I believe the only color that unlocked was black. So you do not have any other. I don't think there are any other colors you can choose from. But black kind of fits with everything. And when I buy my bags, I buy black because it matches pretty much everything I have. So yeah, let me know about the bag. Let me know about the pins. And please check out Melanin Eclectic on her website. Uh, please support a Black female creator. That is one major reason why I back this campaign, because I just wanted to support someone who looks like me. <laughs> so you guys know the drill. If you like what I do, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. The other half of, well, I guess the back half of August will, again, be another Rita bag. Only this bag is going to be more of a book bag. <laughs> so it's like the opposite of this in terms of size. It is significantly bigger, big enough to hold a 17-inch laptop, which I actually have. Thanks to the Steam Deck, I never use it anymore, but I do have it. I might actually drag that out just to show you how things fit in it. But yeah, we're going to have an Eda backpack to, have, to unbox next time. So until then, I'm not going to put, well, okay, I'll put my paw on for my goodbye. I don't even know which paw this is. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> but until next time, bye-bye.